Hey dudes and divas, today we are in for a dose of stratisfaction. Now, if you guys have been watching us for a little while or follow us on Instagram or anything like that, you know we are wrestling fans. And depending on the storylines and the character development and, you know, the talent, you you fade in and out throughout your entire life. But, you know, we've we followed our whole life and these two babes that I'm going to review in a moment have been pioneers to the women's division. They have definitely broke the glass ceiling in a lot of different aspects. And right now they're doing, as our W.com and everything are reviewing a lot of like momentous occasions for the women's evolution and things like that. So this comes in perfect time for this. So I seen this set on walmart.com. It's Trish and Lita. Okay. So there's a lot of things I want to talk about when it comes to why this set is a must. And first off, it's Trish and Lita. I mean, Attitude Era, Trish and Lita is just like everything. Trish and Lita, Trish and Lita, Trish and Lita. That's how it was back and forth all the time. And basically right now, if you follow them on their Instagrams or you follow them at any conventions or even in WWE, you know, they go by Team Bestie because they remain best friends after being retired for over a decade now and things like that. So it's really cool. So I'm going to bring you, I'm going to bring them in so you guys can see, and I'm just going to continue talking. Um, so this is a set that was basically, ex it's, it wasn't exclusive, but it was basic, basically based off of the all women's pay-per-view evolution, which I did attend and it was amazing. It was probably the best pay-per-view I've ever watched. And there was just so much emotion at this pay-per-view by the talent, by the fans. And it was just something that no one ever thought would be possible. And to see it and to be there was just, it, it's a moment in my life that I, I will never forget. So these are obviously the outfits that they, they wrestled in. And it, it, was, it was a tag match that they actually wrestled in and they were a tag team, which was cool. It shows a little actual Evolution fold-out chair, which, you know, side note, we, Amber and I actually went to Evolution and we actually have these chairs. Um, they don't just say Evolution, they have all of the, the female wrestlers' faces and stuff on them. But um, yeah, because you sit, when you sit ringside, they let you take the chair, which is really cool. So this is probably, I would like to say this is the first figure I want to say, and I could be wrong, so if you want to comment on it and call me out, I'm perfectly fine with that. But I think this is the first Lita figure that we actually get to see her, all her new tattoos. Because all of the other Lita figures are obviously based back in, you know, 2000s, where she just had the one little tattoo on her shoulder, so that's kind of cool. And then, just a side note as well... They did, Lita was doing, just because of back then, it was like the, the major thing was um, everything going on with women, with like Harvey Weinstein and everything like that. Lita actually wore, oh wait, no, that was Royal Rumble. Nope, don't listen to me. Royal Rumble, she wore a belt that said Time's Up, so I thought they took this off the figure, but no, that was Royal Rumble. So yeah, so then we have Trish, which they gave her kind of like an ombre look, which is cool, because they've only made one other figure of Trish where she wasn't blonde, and that was just when she came back and they made an elite figure where she actually had the women's belt and she was brunette. So this was cool that they gave her, you know, the ombre and they both both wrestlers do have the updated look. So that was really cool. And I'll read you off the back of the box. So at the back of the box, just show, you know, the two beautiful, beautiful women. And it does say um, legendary rivals and trailblazers for the WWE women's division during the Attitude Era. Lita and Trish united as a tag team for the first ever all women's pay-per-view evolution. So that's really cool. The other two series in this set are Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles and The Usos. So yeah, I would, you know, definitely say a collector should pick this up, you know, buy this because it is a really cool set. Um, I've seen it on like ringsidecollectibles.com. I've seen it on actually Trisha's Facebook because she was signing a bunch of them. I've seen it on um, walmart.com and things like that. So you could probably check it out. It's probably still available just because WWE figures, they don't sell as crazy as they used to. I remember when I was growing up, especially like the female figures, because they were my favorite when I was growing up, you could not keep your hands on them. They would always come out and it was because they didn't make as many as they do now. Thankfully they got past all that sexism, but you know, you can get these. So I would definitely get them. They're definitely a must for, for a collection or for anyone that likes wrestling figures. I mean, why not? I mean, these are two WWE hall of famers, you know what I mean? So yes. So Amber, take it away. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at the dudes and divas and delightful misadventures. Thanks Bye. for watching guys.